Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, bringing you a, another video, uh, another Sony video, I should say, this time for uh, Horizon. Now, this one is a little bit different. I say that first because uh, this is actually the first game I'll be playing with uh, Windows 11. So all my videos to this point, I've been using Windows 10 as my OS, but I have upgraded now to Windows 11. I primarily wanted to do it for, or to test out the HDR settings. So that will kind of serve two purposes, or this video will serve, serve two purposes. So first, real quick, just so you can see the settings here, I am playing with everything maxed out at a resolution of 5120 by 1440. I also do have DLSS set to quality. Now, just to touch on that real quick, uh, if particularly on a 3090 at this resolution or at 4K, you don't really need DLSS for per performance, but there are some anti-aliasing issues with this game. Just if there is one really awesome benefit of DLSS, um, it is how it can really serve as a great anti-aliasing technique, and this game definitely benefits from that. I personally would recommend, again, even if you don't necessarily need it for, need it for performance, running uh, the game at DLSS quality just because it does help with some of that, just the, the foliage, and there's a lot there's a lot of dithering in the um, in a lot of the grass scenes, and because well, this whole game is outdoors. It's really noticeable, and like I said, the only other solution that's kind of feasible is is TAA, which does make the the game blurry. So, kind of aside from that, the I also wanted just to showcase performance and specifically HDR with Windows 11. So, I've been kind of holding off on doing this upgrade. Uh, there was there were some performance issues with Windows 11, or uh, specifically with AMD processors, and so. I finally decided to, to bite the bullet and make the upgrade, um, and I'm, I'm hoping it'll translate decently well to this video, and I'll preface this by saying, I to be fair, it could be placebo, but I do think, in my you know, just my opinion, HDR is better. Um, now, I'm not saying it's game-changing, and particularly because this is an original G9 instead of a Neo G9. You know, it doesn't magically fix, you know, the backlight issue with the OG G9 and, and the contrast ratio. But with Windows 11, on both the desktop, well, especially the desktop, I should say, HDR is much more feasible. It's not dim anymore. And then in games, there's just, there's it, it almost feels like there's a little bit more of a, I guess, a, a punchiness to the colors. Again, you know, I, I think it's fair to say that I could be just experiencing some form of placebo, but... It does. It did seem noticeable, and, and Horizon just has been one of my favorite uh, HDR games to display because it, it's a gorgeous game. It's uh, one of my favorites on this screen. I, I don't personally play a lot of third-person games on this screen. I normally will go back to a normal TV for that, but it's. I mean, this game is gorgeous um, on a 32 by 9, especially when you you max out the field of view slider. So, I uh, I hope. Like I said, with with the video quality and how I export everything on this, that it kind of it translates through, and you can kind of see some differences. But with that, you know, let me know if you'd like to see more. I uh, I, I was hoping to be able to do uh, the uh, the sequel for this game as well, but I believe it's uh, when it launches this month, it's only going to be for the consoles first. So hopefully, it comes out for PC soon because this game would be awesome on PC. So yeah, with that. I'll uh, let you enjoy the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you later. Here we go again.
careful. Well, I can. Can't be too prepared.
I think I'm in the clear. Keep that for later. 